Please, ladies and gentlemen, you're making me hypnagogic. You will not find a bigger, funnier, more caffeinated movie star than our next guest. His latest film is entitled The Birdcage, and it opens March 8th. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Robin Williams. Do Keep not adjust your dial. This is simply a coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, one, yeah. Wait, let's just see if people at home go, something's wrong. <laughs> it's uh, from the Gandhi on Ice collection. <laughs> Look at you, you big tie! <laughs> Not the size of the tie, it's how you hold look it. Look at that, it's some... <laughs> yeah, look at you there. That's a piece of work tonight, uh, listen. The way you rub that thing, you're a man's man. You know, you, uh, a couple of weeks ago, you were on our primetime special, and uh, let me just take a second here to thank you very much, because I know you're a quite, quite busy fellow, and oh, it was Dave, very nice you, of you to come it, up. It was come very here sweet here of you. Very nice of you. free food and the cold air. Yeah. <laughs> I love this place. Wow. We, have, we have mouthwash as well. Give me a shot of that, you bang. <laughs> Look at this. You and me in an alleyway. <laughs> uh, that's my buddy, Davey Letterman. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now, see, I have mm -hmm. the same problem. Here, there you go, right here. There it is. Yeah! No, 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 no. No, no. I went in the back, I filled this up. <laughs> oh. Boy, there's some good drinking. Yes, sir. A bottle of that in the doorway, you're gonna have a good time. Let's, uh, let's talk for a second here about the film Birdcage. First of all, historically, what do people, uh, what do they need to know about this film? Originally, like in the late 70s, it was... It was a, a film about two homosexuals, and it still is. Yeah. <laughs> But the, the, the first version of it was called La Cage Fall, La is Cage Fall yeah, which yeah. is the cage of the crazy queens, uh -huh. I think. And uh, this is uh, the bird cage, which is, you know, that kind of loose translation thing. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite funny, I think. You know, it's always strange, because uh, a guy in drag is funny, and a woman in drag is Armani. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like... <laughs> it was wild. We have this production number, these big production numbers with all these guys in drag, and some of them are gorgeous. And there's, like, Teamsters going, I know it's a guy, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm standing at the urinal next to Madonna and I'm going, wow, you are gorgeous. <laughs> that is one fabulous guy. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's been fun to do. It's so now, the, the in the film, you play the, uh, you're like a, you run a nightclub, you're a part owner in a nightclub, you have a... I have a lover, I, have, I run Am the I club. Am I close here at all on any of this? You're doing quite well. Oh, good, thank you. I'm well. glad you saw the film. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, and I, I have this, I, we have a son. Yeah. Uh, I, who I had kind of like a wild, wonderful night, the one heterosexual moment that he had. And uh, my son wants to marry this girl who is, whose father is uh, a conservative, well, it makes Bob Dole, he looked quite liberal. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what kind of reaction are you expecting from the film? I'm hoping for a good reaction. If not, I have to buy Kevlar. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> but we don't want yeah. that. No, that no, better no. be one funny drag movie, son. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you better dance for me, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Pat Buchanan right now going, Oh, Lord! Oh, oh Lord! A demon spirit! Demon spirit! <laughs> you know, um... It's right. It's, uh, the nice thing is Elaine May wrote this script, which is very political, and she's put a lot of topical references in yeah. it, which I think will work quite well. Yeah, and, and Nathan Lane, who has been on this show, is just oh, he's terrific. Hysterical. Yeah, he's wonderful, wonderful. I mean, he, when he dresses up at the end, he, we have to try and fool this couple. He dresses up, uh, it's basically Barbara Bush, which is fabulous. <laughs>
Not gonna lie, looks great. Thousand points of light, wearing them around his neck. Uh, let us do a uh, commercial. We'll and do that, and you we keep got a clip, and we got a. And, you and then we're gonna brush. play with your time. Yes, it's dental hygiene night, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Hey, the Paul Schaefer, your CBS All Girl Orchestra, Robin Williams. Patsy uh, Kensett and uh, Space Hog will be out here. You know, uh, we were just talking to in the commercial, and you told me that you just were in Japan, like, was it 36 I, hours you ago? You know, Jay, I was. <laughs> well, are you a little punchy? I'll tell you that, my friend. Oh, God. I love, you know, Cleveland is a beautiful town. <laughs> I'll tell you that, and let me have a little coffee right here. How mm -hmm. long is And I a little mineral water. This is a Betty Ford speedball. <laughs> there we go. Yes, I was, uh, I was in Japan, I got back. How long is the flight? Uh, how long is it? It's 14 hours of sheer bliss. Yeah. And you get, and you, you know, occasionally you get a little jet. <laughs> <laughs> but you're back. And ah. what, were, what were you doing in Japan? I had to promote uh, Jumanji in mm -hmm. Japan, which was great. I mean, I, I had to do all these different talk shows. This know? was not the first time you've been there, I'm guessing, right? Have you been to Japan many yeah. times, David? And, 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 I, and also... You I, know, you're very big over there. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who you are. You're just, just a big man. big man, yeah. <laughs> And I would guess you must be worshipped as a god there. Oh, yes. Come, little furry boy. Stay. <laughs> Bring me monkey comedian. <laughs> you have more hair than anyone ever. <laughs> you wear a look. Wow. Oh, look. Quest for fire opera glove. <laughs> People in Japan throw red paint on me. You must not wear fur. <laughs> <laughs> very bad, bad news. But they're very, you know, Japanese talk shows. I even went on the Japanese news one night. Yeah, and really? That was a very surreal experience. Because I'm on the news and he's, uh, what do you mean? Uh, and they're translating, which is like bad medication anyway. You're... <laughs> Why did you do Club Paradise? <laughs> and it's like, oh! What? Wow! <laughs> And then I went on a Japanese variety show, the, the equivalent, your uh, equivalent there, and I, they said, the, they teach us to be funny, so I tried to do impressions. Uh, I did, uh, I had six Japanese comedians doing Groucho Marx, which is... And then suddenly got lost to ask and I hate about it. I'm another husband, eh? Oh, yes. And I could see people at home in Japan going, whoa, very bad. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you like the food there? You like the, Oh, they, uh, they take us out to these incredible restaurants and they serve you, they have this one fish, which is, uh, you find out later on, is quite deadly. Oh, this is a thing that inflates it's, yes, or something? Yes, it's yeah. a blowfish. It's yeah. called fugu, which mm -hmm. sounds like a New York fish. Fugu? <laughs> yeah, well, fugu, man. Yeah. <laughs> right right here. Hudson. Here's your fugu. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's very deadly, and if they, if they cut it slightly wrong... Yeah, if it's cooked improperly, boom, you're, Yeah, you're it's ghost, like you yeah. and the partier. <laughs> But no Heimlich, nothing. And then I'm eating the fish and I'm going, oh, what is this? This is, oh, this is wonderful. They go, that is sperm. <laughs> oh, sperm of the fugu. I'm going, oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> I should have known from the little vial. <laughs> How exactly is that served? Yeah. Like this. <laughs> oh! The entire room went. <laughs> I know sometimes there's a boundary, and I go, oh, yeah, well. The jet lag. That that's jet lag, that yeah, is. that'll be the excuse. Yeah. Uh, but now, it, this, this deadly fish, to me, to my way of thinking, if it's deadly, on the other side of things. Yeah, it's like it, going to Arkansas and ordering pork sushi, you know? <laughs> but it, it also must be very, very tasty. It's got to taste it is, great. It is. It tastes incredible. Yeah. So but is it like the best tasting fish you ever had? Oh, Dave, it's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's like you're dead and going to hell, man. <laughs> I mean, you've had fish, this is a fish. And it tastes just like chicken, but a really yeah, good chicken. Yeah, okay. And when you get to that, when you get to that other part, you know, the part I said, yes. oh boy, that's yeah. even better. Ah. It's uh, like, no, it is, it's this incredible taste, but you're going, uh, yeah, you're risking oh, your life. Yeah, yeah, what a wonderful thing to do. We need to uh, pause here one we'll more be right time. Back. We'll be right back with Robin Weem. And, uh, Kenseth Space Hog. Uh, 
Uh, what about the uh, Republican presidential uh, race? What do you think of that? It's getting crazy now, isn't it? It's getting to be, it's going to be like, <clears throat> soon they're just going to throw them in a the room and say, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Could you vote for any of these guys? Uh, no, Dave, I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I look at Steve Forbes and go, that's my old fraternity brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a self-made man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I always miss, I mean, Perot keeps appearing up once in a while, too. He's like, to me, he's like the old snake oil salesman. Yeah. Like, Come on, put it right here. Here he is right now. I'm going to move the budget around. There it is right now. Here it goes right now. There it is right now. Yeah. Over here right now. I'm going to say one there. Yeah. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. I'm going to say it right there. I'm going to say it right there. I'm going to say it right there. He's nuts. You need somebody in there nuts just to make it entertaining. It is. Yeah. Well, it's getting really interesting yeah. now. They get it, they, when they ask Stoll something, and then he'll go, uh, I believe that totally. And afterwards, he'll go, uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, Birdcage. We have a, yeah, we, have, we got a clip here. You got a clip? We got us a clip, buddy. You're telling that my... Oh, yeah. God, this is a full-service oh, organization. Oh, sure. We got your complimentary beverages. Got your, got your we beverages. Got mouthwash, your little mouthwash, toothpaste. toothpick. I'm clips. on my way, pal. Yes, sir. You know and what a big gonna... tie for fun later. <laughs> Fun. That's right. This, this does represent fun for me. That looks later. like you pull that and your head starts. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the clip, I guess, I think this is the one I saw. You and uh, Nathan Lane, is that what we're looking at here? I'm hoping you find All right. This is uh, what movie? Oh, this is the Birdcage. When does this thing open up? It opens... This uh, thing opens up March 8th. March 8th. March 8th, Bird wide. Ca Birdcage, uh, Robin Williams, Nathan Lane, who else? Anyone else you want to... Oh, uh, there's Hank Azaria, there's Gene Hackman. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh Gene Hackman, man, is he terrific. He's, He's amazing. great. Yes, sir. And All right. And there's a big surprise as, as at the end of the movie that I will not tell you now. Okay, uh, but you tell us right after the clip, right? Sure. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, then, then we'll clear it up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, roll the uh, clip. We'll take a look at Birdcage here. As you can see, a very restrained performance. <laughs> a very simple, simple movie. Very, very impressive. And uh, I tell you what, we got another commercial you want to hang around, and we got Space Hog, and we got Patsy Kenzie. You can do oh, anything you want. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whatever you want. Just hang out just in the side. Take anything you I need. got caffeine and mouthwash. I'm happy, <laughs> baby. Right. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> Move your damn fingers! Move your damn fingers! Sorry, Dave. That ain't as easy as it looks. Hold them. Hold okay, em. I got him. I got him. All right. Take it easy, Dad. Our next. My first day on the job. <laughs> you got this thing for life. <laughs> Our next guest made her film debut at the age of four. Yeah. Uh, in The Great Gatsby, and had a memorable role in Lethal Weapon 2. Her new film. <laughs> Her new film, Angels and Insects, is receiving critical acclaim. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Patsy Kenzit. Patsy! How you doing? Did anything, Miss Kinsey? Some mouthwash, oh, yeah. maybe? We have a, a little mouthwasher. Everybody's having a shot if you're going to stay on. <laughs> I want that, right? I want this, and I'd like the cigar first. You like a little cigar? cigar? Yeah. Sure, we get you a cigar. Yes, Miss Kinsey, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, this one here, that was all, it's already it's kind of wet there, so be very careful. Ooh. Ooh. Do you, do you inhale or what? Well, well if, if you're Clinton, no. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you just bring the car around. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. This, you just go. You just get a hold of this and go. <laughs> I don't need it, son. I don't need it. You're doing good, man. You're I doing good. Need... Come on, don't be afraid. You got it, baby. You got it. Come in hard. Come in hard. Don't be afraid. One, two, three. Finish it off, baby. Finish it off. You swallow this stuff, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're halfway through the show. It don't make any difference now. <laughs> but when will it kick in? I feel like oh, it's, it's in now. It's kicking. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> we're on cruise control. 
How you doing? I'm good. How Welcome are you? Welcome to the program. It's nice to be here. Do you still uh, live in London? Is that where yes, you make your Yes, own? yes, I live what, in What are people saying about the royal family now? They must be beside themselves, eh? I d you know what? I, I'm so sick of reading about them, I don't anymore. Now, before all of this stuff happened... <clears throat> Ain't that big a secret uh, now, is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's Eddie Futz. Thank you, Eddie. Thanks, Mr. Dave. Yes, if you have any more problems, I'll be there. All right. <laughs> I can't tell you the secret. Okay. I can't tell you the secret. But it, the, the, the book, also the book, the film has a lot of insect analogies. Mm -hmm. it's, also, it's about.